What is good guys? We are back inside of another abandoned school. This school is really unique because it was the school of the Jackson 5. More importantly, the school of Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson roamed the halls of this school. It is completely ripped apart. I've never seen a school more vandalized or it's just in line with the most vandalized school I've ever seen. But the reason why we're here is because, well, we're in Gary and Michael Jackson went to school here. And the whole Jackson 5, you know, Tito, and I don't know the other ones, Jermaine, I don't know the other two. But Michael Jackson, Jermaine, Tito, and the other two went to the school. Basically roamed these halls. Very cool, there's still some really cool features around here, even though it is ripped apart. We have been to some ripped apart schools that have had some good stuff to show still. This is a really, really unique school in that aspect as well. I want to get into it, see what we can find. I know there's some classrooms still put together. There's still some books left behind. There's still some desks, all that other stuff. We're going to see when this place went abandoned because I'm not even exactly sure when this place did go abandoned. We're going to get into it, see if there's any memorabilia or maybe a memorial or anything like that to Michael Jackson and or the Jackson 5. Let's just get into it. So right here we have a pretty small, pretty kind of nice elementary school gym. Most elementary school gyms are very small. They usually don't have sports teams and things like that that would use a big gym or require a big gym for that matter. This actually attaches on the other side. There's the cafeteria, which is also pretty typical of an elementary school. They usually have these big areas and they split them down with a wall, but it's, it's pretty nicely done. They just have a wall right there with a I guess a gym closet right there. I'd imagine because it stays cold up here in Gary for a long time, you would go through here you would probably eat lunch inside of here and then you would come inside of here for recess on snow days or cold days or you know they have a lot of polar vortexes up here, so this is good for them to have recess inside of, I assume. This carpet cleaner right here looks like R2-D2. I thought that was R2-D2 at first. It's another one of those old school tables I like. I think I had one like this. I definitely know that we had one like this. It was a little more decorative. I think this is just for school. But I had one like this, but it was nicer. Walking past this room, I noticed that the ceiling is collapsed. Yeah, there's a dog in here. Is he trapped? He's trapped in there? Yeah, you don't want to mess with it really. If he's not tied up, he's not trapped, I'm not going to have to do anything for him. 
Just, just leave him be. He's just probably scared. He'll probably bite you. There's probably big babies in there. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Well, it could be the bad. mother. Yeah. All right. Well, let's just got it on video. <laughs> Dude, what kind of dog is it? So long as you're all right. We just wanted to make sure you weren't tied up or anything bad. It's all right. It's all right. We're more scared of you than you are of us. Yes, sure. Let's leave her alone. So I walked into that room with the collapsed ceiling before and I started hearing a dog barking. I didn't know whether or not it was from the neighbor coming from inside of here and whether or not it was a cop dog. Usually cop dogs don't bark. They usually just get right up on you and take you out. But yeah, that's, I guess that that's a dog and she probably, <laughs> I guess that that's a dog. I guess it's that that's a mother and she probably has puppies inside of there and she's probably guarding them and that's why she's barking. We don't want to, you know, you guys know I'm a dog lover, so I don't really want to mess with her. I just wanted to make sure that she wasn't tied up or locked up inside of a cage. Sometimes mess up things like that happen to animals and I would have to in turn rescue it. So thankfully that's not the case. We'll get out of her way and uh, she won't be bothered by us anymore. Trying to follow Mr. R and play around here for a second. He's down here. Oh wow, it's like a playroom. Bunch of toys. Like we said guys, this is an elementary school, so we're looking at either a pre-K room here, possibly a kindergarten room. Did you see they changed, they turned it into a thrift store for a little while. The school? Yeah, there's a there's like a couple thrift store signs in the main entrance. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, they might have done that for like, you know, fundraisers for charities and yeah. stuff like that. But yeah guys, there's toys. Got some Turtox, a bunch of chemical closet, chemicals in here. Anything left behind? Looks like it. Not sure what that is. Look like teeth at first, but I think they're just rocks. Hmm. That'd be cool to find like specimen jars. So we're in the chemistry room right now where I've never seen any like this before. They flipped over all these lab tables. Something else. Took all the plumbing right out, everything. Takes a special person, I guess. I have never seen anybody vandalize a chemistry lab like this inside of an abandoned school. This is pretty, pretty crazy. I mean, I guess I've probably seen it. I don't know. At this point, I've seen so many places, but I don't remember any like this. This is crazy.
Where are you going, Jose? Nowhere, bro. You leaving? Nah. What are you doing outside then? Oh, I was just trying to look for you guys. I wasn't going to start yelling like What do you think? We just left you? Yeah. I thought you guys just left and uh, took off with me. Who's yeah, who's showing me around the other side over here? Yeah, come check it out. Yeah, sure. definitely. It's fun with it. See all the beer cans in here? No, I haven't been on this side yet. This is like uh, a homeless guy's camp. Homeless man is camping out over here. So you're thinking maybe he's being really quiet. He's in that room with the dog, maybe. Maybe. Yep. Hmm. Got a bunch of dead soldiers over here. And a cot and some some material over there for for extracurricular activities. All right. So he chose the music room with no door. And I just got a fly up my nose, so I know that that door is not protecting anything right now. I guess it's so he could run easy. That's the best room I've ever seen for a homeless man. I hope he doesn't have to stay here a lot. What's this way? Nursery? Yeah, this is where I think after the school closed, they might have set this up with the thrift shop. Oh, all right. So this is like, it says classy resale shop. Maybe nursery here, because there's a ton of little like, kids stuff. Oh, all right. Yeah, so. Like the guys said, they were repurposing this place. I guess, I would assume after its closure, maybe even during, maybe even for charity. But they have a bunch of repurposed clothes here that are now typically scattered all over the place. completely wrecked this room probably stole anything that was very valuable I'm sure everything in here has some sort of value to it or did at one point in time but it no longer does just like all the other clothes we see in abandoned places this could have all gone to charity could have all gone to the homeless, could have all gone to the people right outside of the school. Why it didn't? That's the million dollar question, I guess. Oh really, they're ripping this apart? Yeah, so this is just the principal's office and all that? The principal's office was right in here. This one. There's a whole unit right here. Bunch of photos. Oh, wow. And stuff. So this is behind the front desk of the principal's office. It's completely torn up as well. Surprise, surprise. You'd still see. Nobody wanted the records. Some of the books. You used to bylaws, all that stuff. Religion, philosophy, so I guess they 
gave out textbooks. These aren't real textbooks, but. Yeah, that's 2010. So I guess that's the latest date. Is this that when this was abandoned? I'm not sure. <clears throat> Looks like it. 2010 is the last that's date right that after, I'm seeing there. After the recession. Yeah. Wow. So this we said was all filled up with. It was mm -hmm. The cubicles here were up. They had like family photos and stuff. Oh and wow. And that. What's oh, that? A year and a half ago? Yeah, a year and a half October, I believe. I'm hoping they went to a good use. Purpose in another school. So this right here, as you guys can tell, is one of the most intact rooms in this entire school, which isn't really that intact. There's just a lot of stuff here that hasn't been ripped apart and or like these bookshelves, really. The bookshelves are intact. Everything else isn't intact, really, but it's kind of here. It wasn't stolen or vandalized, so that's good. There's a nice courtyard out there also with a nice tree. There's some flowers still growing out there. There's a rock garden. Really nice big rocks inside there. We'll see if we can get a better vantage of that from the outside or the other side rather. But uh, yeah, an almost not trash trashed room. Like someone came when this, this is the school. It's clearly abandoned in those photos. So someone came here like back in the day, like around 2005, 2006, took those photos, came back here and dumped them in the school. What do you mean? I think the last date in this school is 2010. If Are you, you sure? go into that principal's office back there, there's a book for 2010. Really? Okay. Yeah. So, but then from 2005. I didn't see a date, but I thought the school was closed in 2005. That's why I thought these were from I think I believe it's 2010. They wouldn't have anything with any later dates that it was closed. Unless they were using it for storage. I mean, it could be, but it was set up in the principal's office. Yeah. Is there a ghost standing in the back <laughs> foreground here? Yeah. That's what the title of my video is going to be, be right there's there. A, there's a ghost Yo, right I here. I found Urbex photos. Is that it? Tractors or something? See right there, you can see the nice courtyard area, with the trees, the flowers still growing over there, and the rocks over here. It's pretty nice. Nice little area to hang out. Safe. Nobody can get to an outside playground. This is a nice safe area. Very cool.
I think that the dollhouse that we saw inside of the gym came from in this classroom because it looks like this might have been part of an art room here. I really like what they did with these drawers. And the top, oh, wow. It's tile, mosaics. It's very nice. Drum work on there. Really cool. Little flower pots on the sides. Oh, look inside. That's cool. I really like that. That's cool. Look at staircase that went over a fire. Little couch there. Really neat. All right guys, this was a pretty dope explore. There was a lot left behind here. There was obviously a lot of trash behind here. Michael Jackson's remnants are no longer here. They were probably stolen at some point in time, to be honest with you. I don't know why somebody would take everything else from the school and not maybe a Michael Jackson plaque, memorial, Jackson 5 plaque or memorial, something along those lines. If anybody knows about what school I'm in here today, let me know if there was ever at one time or another any kind of memorial to the Jackson 5 and or Michael Jackson, because that would be really cool. But anyhow, we got to walk the halls of the school Michael Jackson went to. We found a dog, which is pretty crazy. We found a, a homeless man's camp. I don't know if it's where he lives full time or maybe he comes here to hang out or it might be just somebody from the area that comes here to hang out. We might have even chased him away. If for whatever reason you're watching this video and we chased you away, we're sorry about that. We had to film this school. You understand, right? Like I said, this was a pretty dope explore. There was a lot to see here. A lot of stuff was vandalized, but yeah, we got some cool shots out of the deal and we got to see Michael Jackson's elementary school. So until the next spot, see you there. Peace.